Jez Beer Reviews, Viking Pilsner. Okay, Viking Pilsner. This is, uh, picked this up at Dan Murphy's. Look the art there. Looks like a Viking King. Anyone who watches the show Vikings, probably be excited to have a beer called Viking Pilsner. Um, okay, so this one is brewed in Iceland. First Icelandic beer I've had. It's 4.4% uh, ABV, so a nice little percentage. Now this bottle is actually um, 330 mils, a nice simple brown bottle design, and the artwork's uh, fantastic, very nice, especially if you're into your history, that's always fun too, the uh, Vikings have done a lot in their short space of time in history. Okay, so well, let's crack her open. Now, I couldn't get a horn, I don't have a drinking horn. Um, there's a few around actually that I looked online and um, got like uh, Das Horn and all that. But um, I've got this, uh, just this typical, uh, it's like a pills in a beer glass. And it actually kind of looks like a horn there, but yeah, so it's close I've got. So let's pour her in. Okay, now I should have probably tilted that a bit more. But that is um, a lot of head there. So, yeah, if you do watch the show Vikings, um, Ragnar, the guy who plays Ragnar, Travis Fimmel or something, he's Australian, turns out to be. And I need to start watching it um, this year, and it's a great TV show. And it's loosely based on history too, so uh, there's a couple of, obviously TV shows that can't be exactly like history, but there's a few um, nice way they intertwine the history in there. Okay, so this is the first time I actually had this. So I grabbed a six pack and it's the first one I had in the glass. I've just been drinking out of the bottle. So it kind of looks like a frothy uh, horn there. Um, look at that, two fingers ahead. You know, you've got medium sized bubbles. It's a nice uh, light appearance, very refreshing on a 34 degree day here in the um, Clarence Valley in Auburn, New South Wales. Um, so it looks really good. Look at that. You know, that's really summer in the glass there, isn't it? So uh, the aroma, it's got a nice, uh, just a nice uh, light um, grainy barley uh, smell to it. It's not really, no hops there really standing out. Um, the head's sitting all right there actually. Um, so it's just got a really typical beer aroma. So let's get into it. Cheers. It's got a nice little bit of um, a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of breadiness, maybe a little bit of cracker as well, um, a little bit of bitterness. But for a pilsner, it's nothing like those German pilsners as well. I was talking about the other week there. Um, not as much bitterness. Bitterness is pretty low, so it's a little bit different to say the Germanic um, pilsners. Um, very light. It does have a bit of body to it. I wouldn't say it's watery. But um, it's definitely not a uh, medium to heavy kind of beer. Uh, very drinkable. I think I paid about $18.50 for the six pack. Um, I wouldn't say it's a standout beer. There's definitely other beers that are probably better than this. But uh, for being, a, I thought it was more of just a gimmick beer. And gimmick beers are normally a bit worried and taste pretty ordinary. But actually, uh, the Fair Dinkum, they produce a pretty good beer. This is a very solid um, Pilsner from Iceland. Not <clears throat> if you really like your Pilsner equivalent, you might not like this because you might want a bit more bitterness so, uh, from the SARS. But um, if you want like an easy drink in summer beer, this is probably maybe a lager for you. It's only 4.4%, it's not too heavy. If you really wanted to geek out, you could probably even buy the um, Das Horn. It's actually I think it takes about 710 mils and it's white. It's actually plastic, so you don't have to worry. You can put it in the dishwasher. It's not like the actual real horns where you've got to put some kind of bee wax coating or something on them. And um, you can geek out and drink Viking lager like that. Um, especially coming up to Christmas. That'd be fun at a um, Christmas dinner. Uh, eat like a king, I suppose. Viking king. Um, or like an earl. Yeah, so walk. I'm just enjoying drinking this beer. Actually, it's on a on a Monday here, afternoon, after work. Uh, so 
probably winding this up. Uh, what would I give? A Viking Pilsner made in Iceland. You know, it's um, it's it's a it's a good beer. It's a good beer. It's enjoyable. It's no real flavours that annoy me or anything like that. It's anything like anything that I don't like. So uh, probably go. I nearly go on a B plus. That's pretty good for that style. It is in that Pilsner category and it is in a tough category, but a B plus for Viking uh, Pilsner. And like I said, if you want to go the geek it out and party on, you can buy the Das Horn. They sell them in City, I think City Beach. They sell them there as well. Pretty sure. Um, or you can buy it off eBay and you can pour your Viking beer, whatever beer you want, and you can drink out of a horn, drinking horn. Yeah, but um, like I said, it's the closest I've got, and so it's enjoyable. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Jez Brew Reviews. Hopefully I'll get no one done before I go away for Christmas on holidays, and um, there will be some more reviews later in the holidays, but yeah, before Christmas I should get no one out. Alright, you guys take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.